So, Teenage Engineering just came out with an update for the OP1 field. I woke up this morning and checked Instagram like I do every morning. Not proud of that, but I did check it. And the first thing that the algorithm served up to me was a post from TE. And it was a video, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, what do we have here? Watch the video, super short, uh, read the description. Bit Crusher effect, we'll talk about that in a second. But more importantly, a workflow enhancement that I just think is super interesting that this wasn't here already, but I'm so glad and thankful that it is now. So let's talk about the workflow of the OP1 field uh, when you're using this as a standalone device and you're recording to tape. So you have four tracks, as we know, and if you wanted to, say, have the first track be your kick of the drum, the second track be the snare, the third track be when you add the hi-hats in, and the fourth track be something else, effects or something like that, um, you would need to record the first track and then have the decision in your mind of whether or not you want to try to record this next part over that same first track. God forbid you mess up, there's no undo, as we of course know, but if you wanted to kind of have them separate and give yourself a chance to undo it, you'd have to resample. And that mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, doesn't work for me. I don't enjoy that workflow at all. So this now lets you lift up all four, or any up to four, of the tapes and paste them all down into one track. And it's as simple as holding the shift button down when you, when you paste, and it brings everything together into the track that you're currently in. Man, um, very excited about this, as you can tell. Um, I even put on a, a different shirt, a nice shirt, to commemorate this, uh, this big day. Usually I'll have like a hoodie on, probably the same hoodie that you've seen in one of my previous videos. Um, shout out to my wife, who calls me out on that all the time. She says I need some more hoodies, and you know what? Doggone it, I do. Why did I just say that? Anyway, excited. And the workflow works extremely well. It's going to make this just a lot more enjoyable to use standalone. I talked about it in an earlier video. Uh, I've been treating the OP1 field more like a, an accessory to something else than a standalone device. Um, for me as a piano player, I love the workflow of sending my Nord piano sounds into the input and then playing on that on that keyboard, which is just so beautiful and I love playing on there so much and the sounds are amazing. And I can record that stuff directly to tape and then add some OP1 field drums or effects or things like that. And I'm really enjoying that immensely. Um, so having this workflow that we just talked about with the new update is going to allow me to even take that to the next level, right? Layering other sounds, like all the multiple synths onto one uh, onto one track um, or piano sounds and stuff like that. So I'm curious to know what you guys think about this. I will say one thing um, about the OP1 field that I want to see happen eventually, I'll say sooner, sooner than later, but eventually, is I need to be able to easily use those effects. And actually, as I'm saying this, let me pause for a second. I think it's actually not so bad. All right, so what I was going to say is I want to be able to like lift up, say for example, if I have all four tracks with different drums, like I mentioned, and I have some punch going to all four of them with um, you know the tape track effects. When I lift and paste, of course, those effects are only, they're not being recorded, right? They're only recorded when you're actually in the drum sampler or synth or on your synth engine. And so as I'm thinking about this, I need to get into the habit. I'm going to actually do it right now. I need to get into the habit as my wife is calling me now. Let me see what she needs from me. Give me one sec. Hello? Hey, baby girl. How are you? Good. All right, I'll be right up. Let me just finish this uh, video, okay? All right, let us take a shower. Love you. We're going to have fun tonight. Oh, she hung up. Um, okay, so i got to cut this short. But uh, one of the things that I was saying is that when I'm experimenting with drum sounds, like, I need to get in the habit of adding the effect to the drum here. And I don't do that at all. I don't go into the effects within the drum module. Say for example if I'm if I'm like in I don't know, like the terminal, the new one that just came out. So now that 
of course is on. All right, so what I was going to say earlier is null and void, but it is still relevant for my voice. So I still want to be able to connect my M1 monitor and have the headset and like loop my own voice and add effects to it. And I can't do that on here as is. If there's a way to do that easily, let me know in the comments. But um, thank you so much for watching. Let me go upstairs and get the rest of our day started. We have a fun little... Um, double family date thing? I don't know. Me, my wife and daughter, and one of our uh, best friends and his wife and their daughter uh, are going out to see this Christmas light thing and then going out to dinner. So I'm super excited for that. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to the video if you enjoyed it, if it was helpful. And um, consider becoming a channel member. Channel memberships are live on my channel and you should check them out. Have a good one. See you on the next episode. Peace.